Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure that you turn the water off and pull out the drain hose from the standpipe. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the motor mount roller and spring kit in the Maytag washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a putty knife, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, a 3 16 inch Allen wrench, a 3 8 inch socket wrench, and uh, large pliers and the needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get uh, four new rollers, a pair of springs, and a lubricant. The motor mount rollers and spring kit allow the motor to glide back and forth, adjusting the tension on the belts. The main reasons why the motor mount roller and spring kit would need to be replaced is if the springs get stretched or the rollers go bad, restricting the motor movements, causing it to overheat and damage the belts. Make sure the water is off, get a small towel ready and then using the large pliers, unscrew and remove the inlet hoses. Insert the putty knife into the seam on the side of the front panel near the bottom and pry it out. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side. Take the front panel by its sides at the bottom and lift it up to disengage it from the cabinet. Let's tape the lid down and now tilt the washer on its back on the 4x4 four four wooden block. Remove both belts. And now we're going to raise the washer back on its feet. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, take out the screw and remove the motor shield. You will need to push the motor just a bit back. Using the same nut driver, take out the screw that holds the green ground wire. We need to remove the electrical wires from the motor switch. They are color coded and the switch terminals are marked. But if you want to be really safe, you can take a picture of the switch before we start removing the wires. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove all the wires from the motor switch. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, take out two screws at the back of the motor carriage. Push the motor back and take out the front 5 16 inch screw. Now we can lift the motor out of the washer and place it on the table. Locate the Allen screw on the side of the motor pulley and insert the 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Before removing the pulley, please note that it's installed flash with the motor shaft. Then, using the large pliers, turn the Allen wrench counterclockwise to break loose the set screw, and then remove the motor pulley. Using the needle nose pliers, remove both springs. Using the 3 8 inch deep socket wrench, unscrew the four nuts that are holding the motor carriage. Memorize the way the carriage is mounted and lift it off the motor. Separate the plates. Remove the four rollers.
this is the old motor mount roller and spring kit next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Using the lubricant provided in the kit, grease the carriage rails. Place the four new rollers on the shafts. These four holes are used for mounting the springs. Make sure they are on the opposite sides when you connect the two glide plates together. Mount the carriage on the motor and using the 3 8 inch deep socket wrench secured with the four nuts. Using the needle nose pliers install the springs. Install the motor pulley flash on the motor shaft. Tighten the set screw with the 3 16 inch Allen wrench and the large pliers. Bring the motor next to the opening. These two tabs on the motor carriage should be inserted in the two openings in the washer base. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, install two screws at the back of the carriage. Push the motor back and install the third 5 16 inch screw in front of the carriage. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, attach the green ground wire to the base. According to the marks on the top of the switch and to the picture you took earlier, attach the wires to the motor switch terminals. Pull the extra wire harness through the retainer clip. Push the motor back in just a little bit and then place the motor shield on the side lip of the cabinet and secure it with a 5 16 inch screw. And now let's lay the washer on its back. Install the transmission and pump belts. All right, now we can lift the washer on its legs and remove the tape. Then place the front panel locking clips into the cutouts in the top panel. Lower the bottom and push it in firmly to lock. Carefully, so the valve's threads are not damaged, thread on both inlet hoses by hand and then tighten them just a bit with the pliers. Make sure you didn't switch around the hot and the cold water hoses. Put the drain hose into the standpipe. Turn the water on. 
plug the washer in and check if it works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.